In this video, we're going to boot a pre-built Linux system for Snickerdoodle using a Windows host machine. You will need your Snickerdoodle, a micro SD card for the Linux image, and a micro USB cable for the serial console. The first step is to download the Linux system files from github.com slash critical under the Snickerdoodle Linux pre-built repository. From here, we will download the zip file and move it and extract it to the desktop. After downloading and extracting the zip file, we can see the boot.bin, uenv, device tree, uimage, and uram disk files that make up the Linux system. The next step is to prepare the SD card for the Linux system. Right-clicking the SD card and selecting Format will allow us to format the SD card using the desired file system, FAT32, and provide a label for the volume. Alternatively, we can use the Disk Management tool to format the SD card. This allows greater flexibility when it comes to partitioning the SD card. By right-clicking the SD card from the Disk table, we can format the SD card the same way we did from the Windows Explorer. The last step in the SD card preparation is to load the Linux system onto the SD card. To do this, we simply copy the files from the unzipped repository, starting with boot.bin, onto the SD card. Now that the SD card is prepared, we can load it into the card cage on the Snickerdoodle. We load the SD card and lock it into place and then connect our USB cable which gives us power and our serial console. We connect to Snickerdoodle using a terminal emulator. In this example we're using PuTTY. Our serial console is located at COM3 with a baud rate of 115200. Other terminal emulators such as TerraTerm will also work. 